Welcome, 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 yo, 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 to the You're, You're Not, Not Serious, Serious, Right? Podcast. And we're going to switch it up on y'all today. Oh, yes, we are. We're going to try a different format for this episode. We're going to start with the story, and then we're going to have some banter, some friendly banter conversations <laughs> Alrighty. that, uh, you know, are a little more off, what would it be like, off the hanger, off the edge? Off the edge. Okay. Off the edge. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start with the funny story from back way back when to Lester times, you know? Uh-huh. Back when I lived in the apartments, back when I was in fifth grade, when me and you just met, actually. Yeah. So there was this kid named Jason. Mm-hmm. This kid had every single game known to man on his Xbox. All right. And I think this was actually before Game Pass came out, so this dude was uh, loaded, to say the least. So, like... Is it his grandma buying? Like, who's buying all these games? His grandma, yeah. His right. grandma must be loaded. I think, I don't know if they're, I think he, that his grandma or his, maybe he's like parents, because he didn't live with his parents. Maybe his parents uh-huh. just load him up with games. So what type of games? Hitman, GTA, Call of the Duties. <laughs> Call of, of the Duties, yeah. all right. <laughs> How old is he at the time? Probably like nine or he 10. He is nine playing GTA. All righty, go ahead. Homie knew all the cheat codes. Yeah. Homie was Lester Dude, 2. I love doing those cheat codes. Those Homie was so Lester 2.0. Oh, yeah. But this this story takes place maybe a week after Christmas or yeah. three days after Christmas. Uh-huh. So roughly this time right now. Uh-huh. Eight years ago. Uh-huh. Eight years ago. Eight years ago. Dude. It's weird to say that. That's long. Now we're all old. Or we're not, we're not old. old, old. But I... F- I feel old too. I, I I feel pretty old. I think many people can uh, can agree yeah. with us on that. It, it's that's it's probably weird. why Christmas feels weird too nowadays. Yeah, Christmas doesn't really feel like Christmas. So I mean, we'll get into that later. Yeah, we'll get. Let me get to the yeah, yeah, the yeah. banter, quote the unquote banter. banter section. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so this kid Jason was loaded for Christmas. He got all this stuff, and what he got that I wanted to play with the most because. He's my friend. Like, we get to share. You know <laughs> oh, what I mean? Oh, okay. He got a bunch of Nerf guns, dude. Uh-huh. And these are like the ones that had the big red bullets. Yeah. So I think it was like a grenade launcher one or something. And uh, so he got all his Nerf guns, his big collection that he has uh-huh. now. And I was like, going to go play outside? He's like, of course. Like, I just got all these, I just got all these new toys. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're going outside. We're playing around the apartments and stuff. And um, I get the big gun. This dude was a little dude. I was little, yeah. but he was little. He was like smaller than me. Mm-hmm. So I get the big. I'm chasing him around. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I'm sh- I'm blicking this dude. What I'm do you have? What type of nerf gun? You know that RPG one. The RPG. The, yeah, the big one. Yeah, that, and that you're dude, just lighting him up. I'm lighting him up. Alrighty. He's, uh, he it probably doesn't feel too good. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, probably something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, basically, what happens is. He's running towards a hill that goes down. Yeah. Right. Is it steep? Like it, how? I would say it's pretty steep. Yeah. Steep enough to trip if he ran fast down, yeah. which is exactly what he proceeded to do next. Oh, wow. He was running uh-huh. and I kept shooting him. And I think he like tripped over like a rock or something that was in the yeah. ground and he just tumbled down the hill. I'm talking, oh, oh, oh. Just, <laughs> just, ow, ow, yeah, ow. just, just <laughs> rolling down this yeah. hill. And uh, it was weird. Because usually when you do that as a kid, you start crying. Yeah. But when he got up, he immediately put his hands on his butt, like oh. like to cover it. Oh, wh- why? And um, I was wondering the same thing. Yeah. yeah. I was like, why is this kid doing? I'm like, you all right? <laughs> you all right, Jason? <laughs> and uh, he's like, yeah, I just got to go back to my house right now. And uh, he starts bolting it. Back to his house. Like he is sprinting. Is he, he still is, holding his yeah. booty cheeks? All right. Yeah, he is. Uh-huh. And uh, I then notice uh-huh. as he's running past me, he's got some brown stuff on his- uh, Don't tell me that is shit. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he, he dropped a big old deuce in his pants. While falling down in the steep hill. Maybe he was scared. I think he had been holding it in because he didn't uh, say his yeah. stomach was hurting before. Then why are you not going to the bathroom? That's what I'm saying. All I right. think he just wanted to hang out with his homie Jacob. I'm a yeah, cool I dude. mean, understandable. You're a cool guy. But, uh, yeah. I uh, then realized that, uh, yeah, he should have <laughs> And uh, What was your reaction to that? I was laughing. Dude. You were just laughing. It, I mean, 
hey, dude. Understandable. I, I would was too. like eleven. Yeah. So I'm, I'm dying. cracking up. I'm dying. Uh huh. Nowadays I wouldn't do that. It's kind of messed up. But like back in the uh, day. No. Nowadays. Okay, if it's a random person, I am like laughing. I, I'm I'm crying. But if it's like you or someone else, I'm like, oh dude, I, I got you. Don't I'll worry. I'll laugh, but I'm gonna feel bad after. Like I'll make sure you're good after. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Like dude, I'll initially laugh and I'll be like, is he all right? <laughs> oh, oh, he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, dude, he was running home and yeah. then I guess he had taken a bath or something because, like, we're kids. Like, yeah. I don't take baths anymore, dude. Do you dude, take baths? Yeah, I love baths, man. So, do you still take baths? Yes. Like, just, like, you know, just turn, dim, you know, just turn the light off, light some candles. You are What do you call those little, um, in. what do you call those little, uh, as, what? Aspen salt? Oh, sorry. I can't say it, man. Aspen, did you say aspen salt? Aspen, yes. Sorry. But I had a big bag of those, so I just pulled, like, probably, like, a cup full. It was great. Just, you know, don't, don't, okay, how, how do you like, uh, when you take a bath or, shower do you like like super hot cold like what's your preferred temperature i like it just before it gets boiling hot like hot enough to like where uh-huh. you can see the steam in the bathroom but not yeah. where it's like a girl shower you know what i mean dude i don't know how those girls <laughs> like i'm be i'm being burnt alive i don't know how girls would be doing that. yeah i had uh my mom like when i used to take baths yeah. right she'd always put the water on and she'd be like oh it's warm yeah i touch it dude I get a third degree. Burn. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> See, me personally, when I take showers or baths, I am not on the cold side, but like kind of like me, probably like warm, almost probably, probably like lu- lukewarm. Lukewarm Just, is still kind of cold though. Yeah, I know. You like it kind of cold? Yeah. I try to cold. So, weird. hey, cold showers, they do good. And ice baths. Really okay. Nice. Okay. I, there was an issue the other day. I was going to prepare to go to Christmas Eve. Yeah. And I got distracted. I turned uh-huh. the water on you to heat up because it's cold outside. Yeah. And then I went in my room and started working on my song again. And uh, I kind of forgot that the water was on. And my mom just got home from work and she's like, uh, Jacob, why is the water on? I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I just turned it on uh, to warm it up. She's like, dude, you're okay. wasting so much money. I, I just gone. <laughs> and then she was like, yeah, I think it's warm now. <laughs> I then just, I'm like, oh, no. And yeah. that's like another 10 minutes to work on my song. So uh-huh. the water's still running yeah, yeah, for another 10 course, minutes. Yeah. And uh, then I, you know, I'll get ready to go in the shower. And yeah. then uh, the water's on like, I guess like, what would it be? Nine o'clock. Yeah. So it's it's supposed to be really hot. And yeah. I turn even more and it's not getting hotter. Well, I wonder why. Yeah. So there was no more hot water. Yeah. You wasted uh, it all. And I kind of just accepted my fate. See, look, when I do that, I do the same thing as you do, but I put it on cold and wait until it like, you know, so I don't have to waste. Well, I'm still wasting water, but not like hot water. Right. But uh, yeah, I just had to bite the bullet. I had to yeah. talk to myself, be like, "You just shake up. You can do this." And then I put the shower <laughs> so mode just, on. Like, how cold is? Is it like freezing cold or it, w- it oh. was freezing cold? So you're just torturing yourself. Well, here, here's what happened. Here's the here's exact here's exactly how it went down and the exact time. Yeah, I put it on shower mode. I step in. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> It's uh-huh. really cold. I'm dying. It's bad. And I'm like, Jacob, you can do this. You're going to like this. You can do this. You can do this. You can do yep. this. 10 seconds later, it, it's not that bad. Uh huh. I turn around. <laughs> it's cold again. So, you know, but, you just got to. But then my body adjusts after about a That's minute. Good. And I'm like, this is actually not that bad. Uh huh. And you know, usually hot water, like, just makes your hair, like, really dry. Yeah. Cold water doesn't do that. It cold was water. Nice. Apparently, I read that. Does like hot water make you like wake up? I thought it thought it didn't, but apparently it does. Hot Maybe. water? Yeah, I thought it was cold water. I thought it was cold water. I swear to you, I looked it up and it said hot water wakes you up. But I there's no shot, right? Because usually that makes me like I'm in the bath. When I take baths, my eh, probably like semi hot, and I'm just sleeping. It's gone. See, I don't take baths because I feel like I can't fit into a bath. All right, you okay? How tall are you? I'm six three, dude. I mean, I think you could, <laughs> but but then my legs are like all in a weird position. Yeah, I need weird. like a I need a big bath. Yeah. Okay, yeah. listeners, do y'all take baths or showers still? Okay, look, I take specifically baths. men, listeners. Yeah, because I know y'all yeah. females it, love taking baths all the time. Oh, it's all your the time. way of relaxing. Yeah, my way of relaxing is sitting in the bathroom taking a deuce for oh, forty five minutes, just scrolling. I'm yeah, that's my that's yeah, my I way of relaxing. That yeah. Y'all's way is probably a lot better. Yeah. But I'm also not 5'3 and yeah. can't just fit in the bath <laughs> like a little baby. So uh, understandable. Yeah, I I wish I wish I were shorter, yeah. but also don't. 
I do not wish I was short. There's no I way. You're sick. Perfect embodiment. I, I was, I, I, that's perfect. I There's only no way. want to be shorter so I can do short How short things. are we talking about? 5'11". <laughs> Oh, but okay, but guess what? If you're five eleven, you basically round up, so you're six foot. So you're basically six foot. Okay, you're telling me every five eleven guy, they don't say they're five eleven. They're six foot. I guarantee you. Yeah, but that's because they're talking to girls. If they talk to guys, they're definitely saying they're actual. No, height. I'm still saying six foot. How tall are you? Six foot. So you're five <laughs> eleven. Maybe. <laughs> you're five eleven? No, I'm not five eleven. Oh, I, I don't think so. You, man. I don't think so. I think I I used to be five eleven. Okay, when I was five eleven, I saw I you know said I was you know I was six foot. I don't think I'm probably like almost six one. Maybe. So you're saying every guy that's five yes. eleven yes. says they're six yes. foot. Yes. Because they ha- you always gotta round up. Six foot. What do you mean you always gotta you round all, up? Like, it, it, like if you're five eleven, you're right there. Like you're right there. I'm yeah, just but saying I'm not. Foot. You're like, not. Though. You're right, you're six foot. You rounded up. You rounded up. You rounded up. No, I don't you like. You rounded that. up. <laughs> I've I've done. I know plenty of guys who do that. Yeah, but like why? But then again, you don't really care because you're six three. <laughs> so I wouldn't like care either. So, so you're saying I got? I, I shouldn't care, or I don't care because I'm already past yeah, the six foot. So yes, guys just want to hit the six foot mark. Yeah. But I feel like if all you the women say love six foot. I feel like, like if you say you're six one though, that's a weird height. Six one's a weird height. Uh, yeah, six right. two is a better height. Six two is a really good six three. Woo, baby. Six that's four good. though. Oh, uh, see, I that that looks that works. Six four is a really six, good looking seven, number. Six eight. Six eight. I like six eight. No, dude. No. Six eight sucks. Why? Six nine? You know, uh, my cousin Kiana, her uh-huh. her dad is I think six eight and a half. I wish I was taller. Dude, that dude struggles to get like inside doors. Yeah, my cousin and dude. Imagine trying to fit into a coupe. See that okay. What's the max height you think you'll go? The max height I'd want to be comfortably six five. All right, I to me I think six six. Like that's just like. Are you just trying to outdo me, dude? No, just one I'm, more I'm, inch? I'm just being serious. But like, okay, I think like what? What do you think is like unnecessary? Like it's too big. Anything six? above anything above six six, dude. Really? Okay. I'm, so if, like, you, if you're not playing a sport. Yeah. And you're above six six. What are you doing? What you're wasting? Your <laughs> what are you doing? Dude. Play basketball. Let's go. You know, or like football. Or football. Yeah. W- wait. A lot of people. Quarterbacks. Are uh, quarterbacks usually tall, taller? Uh, yeah, I think they're all pretty big though. But like, usually all the tall people play basketball. That's true. But basketball is also kind of dangerous, especially for your ankles. So like is football. It. Football's. Did you see that one dude that like had like a seizure? Yeah. Dude. Yeah. <sighs> That's that's the risk though. You're signing a contract, yeah. and that's, I mean, people don't understand that yeah. when NFL players sign a contract for millions of dollars, yeah. they're saying their life is yeah. only worth it's, it five hundred million yeah. dollars. The league, I feel like the league has gotten a little soft because you do back in the day, you see people like Ray Lewis hitting somebody. Oh my! Like you're like back in the day, like now, if you like barely hit some flag penalty. Okay, educate me, man. I watch sports. I've heard of Ray Lewis, but who was Ray Lewis, man? Dude. Best. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what position he played. This guy, you're just name dropping. But I know, know, I know who Ray Lewis is though. He played. I think he played for Baltimore. Okay. And he was nasty. Okay, he do hit he? so hard. Okay, but what position does he play? I don't know, dude. Stop <laughs> clowning me. I don't really watch football, football, but I know you watch baseball of, though, right? Yeah, I like baseball. What? What's which favorite team? Uh, favorite. Te- All right, don't put me on. Bl- I don't really have a favorite team, but probably like the Braves. I, okay, or the Dodgers. Do not call me a bandwagon. I just know like. I kind of like the. I just like Cody. Whoa, Cody Bellinger's on the Cubs. That's my favorite player. Cody I'm Bellinger. a Phillies fan, y'all. I was really. Born, I was born in Maryland, uh-huh. and uh, it's just right next to Pennsylvania. And yeah. I've been a Philly fan since birth. You know, w. I got many hats and merchandise. Oh yeah, I'm a Philly fan, like but <laughs> only for baseball. Yeah. Do you it's, know who's on the baseball team? Nope. That's what I thought. So wait, 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 wait. There's that one dude. That really, Bryce really Harper. famous dude. Yes, Bryce Harper. Bam. Trey Turner. See, I don't watch it like that. I just it, I don't either, but I still know their names. If, if, just if, like football. I don't watch football at all, but I still know like, you know, not if the If someone's repping names. or like who are you repping in baseball? I'm like Phillies, dude. Yeah. Phillies are gonna Who's win. Who's your favorite player? Bryce Harper. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just now said that. So like what if I didn't tell I you? I knew about him. I knew about I just forgot his name. Oh yeah, that famous player. Who? Like okay. all I feel and like all the baseball players. Bryce Harper's on Phillies though right now. Huh? 
Everyone knows that Bryce Harper's yeah. on the Phillies right now. Yeah. Except I just forgot and what Trey his name Turner was. And Trey Turner and Kyle Swarberg. I don't, I don't know all the other But they're, all of them are superstars. They're all so good. Well, Trey Turner kind of bad season. Is Bryce Harper going to be in the Hall of Fame? The Baseball Hall of Fame? I think so. I, I Me, personally, I would put him there. He is... Didn't I've, he get the... Uh, he's been... He's a really good hitter, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, is that what he's tanks. known for? Uh, yeah. He, I, is he good this, at pitching or no? He doesn't pitch. He plays at all. See, I don't know Jesus, baseball, man. dude. He plays outfield. Okay, he plays right. Well, I, I guess he plays anywhere in outfield because if you're outfield, you probably play anywhere. Then this year, or I think this year or last year, he played first recently because I think he recently tore like, or he got a surgery on his ACL. Your ACL is on your or, arm? Or no, sorry. Or whatever, your elbow. Sorry. <laughs> oh my God. I, ah! That sounds so okay, stupid. Okay, don't scream in the mic, sorry, dude. Sorry, it's sorry. loud. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But uh, yeah, baseball, sports, yeah. I don't know much about it. I just, I just know it. baseball. Basically. I just watch it because it's cool. And yeah. I know a lot of people get angry on Twitter. Oh, and I, I like, or sorry, X. Sorry, X. They're, they're Xing. They're Xing yeah. all about the sports. Uh-huh. And uh, it's really funny as people get mad. Mm-hmm. But I will admit, I watch football. I'm a Ravens fan, Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, Ravens are pretty good. And uh, football's been getting kind of shady recently. Really? How so? You know, dude, I yeah. just feel like some of those. You think they're paying them off or? Oh, yeah. Like Four. scripted? Really? For sure, man. There's no way. Do you, dude, some of the outcomes of these games are mind I don't know, man. The I, refs? Come on, dude. The refs are wild, dude. Okay. One second, their back's turned, and the next thing you know, they're calling the stupidest things you ever would have yeah, thought in your, mind, I mean, in your life. I mean, I don't think it's rigged or scripted. I mean, I don't really, I really don't think so. Why not, dude? Why do you think it's scripted? Because I've seen it, dude. I've seen some weird uh, calls. Oh yeah, okay. Well, that's that's everywhere. Every, every referee is going to have a bad call, and everyone's going to hate about it. They're going to like dog the him. Cowboys. That Cowboys right. game. There yeah. was some weird stuff yeah, going I mean, on. It. There's a lot of weird. There's there's even back then a lot of weird stuff. I saw a conspiracy ser- the- theory. Conspiracy theory. Sorry, yeah. we gotta get it right. Uh-huh. Um, on TikTok the other day about the 49ers losing at 17, and every time the 49ers lose. With the score 17, uh-huh. the team that beat them, their quarterback gets injured. And it's been true for like eight games. I was It was swiped on the slideshow. And then it's funny because on this past game with the Ravens, mm-hmm. the ref tripped Lamar or like fell. And I guess Lamar had to do something different. Yeah. And uh, they ended up scoring a point, a point. Okay, there's a lot of refs that's getting in the way and they scored points. I've seen them. No, but they're saying... Because the 49ers lost with so 19. he did it on purpose? He, he got paid? He came, no, he came from the future. What the? To make sure, to make sure that the Ravens uh-huh. didn't win to where the 49ers had 17. They, they wanted to make sure the, the 49ers had at least <clears throat> more than 17 because that's their unlucky number that's or whatever. That's a wild You don't theory. believe that? I don't really. Why not? I I think that's just a load of bull crap, man. Like, Come I, on. I don't know. Maybe some it of it, but up, not, not to like the extent. Like, no, I'm but, not, no, but that, that TikTok was very like, like I don't know, compelling. Man. Yeah. Because they had shown like they'd show the game uh-huh. and the team that beat them and then the 49ers at 17. Yeah. The QB would get injured and it'd be out for a season. Really? But imagine the ref didn't get in the way of Lamar. Probably scoring right there. No. No way. And then the 49ers <sighs> oh, that's lose right. with 17. Yep. Lamar's getting injured. And then they possibly can't win the Super Bowl. My bet is the Ravens are going to win the Super Bowl this year. They are looking <laughs> great. As I'm going to say, dude, the 49ers, the Eagles, 49ers the are not Dolphins, like they're all good right now. 49ers are not that good. Um, Brock Purdy is pretty nasty. He's a quarterback. One player. This tastes like garbage, by the way. What is this? LaCroix? You don't like LaCroix, dude? No. What? Is, sparkling water? Yeah. Okay. The only sparkling water I like is ice. This oh. LaCroix garbage. What okay. flavor is this? You know Good Mythical Morning? Yeah. They love LaCroix, dude. Okay, and but I'm not Good Mythical Morning. Hold on. I trust uh-huh. Rhett and Link's opinion. I trust them too, but like food. not with this drink. Dude, I guarantee if Rhett and Link were sitting right here, they'd be dogging on you. Okay, but I'd be dogging on them for liking it. it maybe it's just a flavor. Okay, do you, what do don't you this? like about it? Seriously. It's just the after, like, that aftertaste is Hold not on. hit. You like water. Yeah, I like water. You like soda. 
Yeah. The, the carbonation of the soda. Yeah. And you like a little bit of flavor. Yeah. That's the drink. But it does not taste good. What's not good about it? I, it, it tastes bland. Like it's, it might might have just been the flavor. Do you think water tastes bland? Water tastes great. <laughs> so why does this not taste good? Because it's just well, it's flavor. Pause. It's, Hold on. Let me read you the ingredients. All right. All right. Ingredients. Semicolon. Uh-huh. Only highlighted carbonated water that's naturally essenced. That's it, dude. It's two ingredients. It's basically w- one okay, ingredient. Dude, may- maybe it's just the flavor, man. What? Guava same polo? Pa, 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 pa. I don't care. All <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Maybe you just, you just talked about the flavor, though. Dude, you don't like may- guava? No, I don't. Ugh, no. I don't. I don't know. Dude. Maybe it's just, what's like the other flavors, you know? Lemon. Okay. Lime. Okay. Strawberry. Yeah. See, those sound better black than- Black raspberry. Those sound better than the guava shabarara. So- Okay. Like, I, I can at least say it right. Put some respect okay. on LaCroix. But why do you, do you like this flavor? Yeah, I love it. It tastes great, dude. Really? How much was this? How, how much was this? Six ninety nine for eight cans. Eight cans <laughs> for that? You're just buying straight trash at that point. Liquid death is like more- Okay, I don't. I've never like taste liquid death. Is it good? What is it like? Flavor like soda water too? It's carbonated water. Is it all right? In or? a cool can. I don't like liquid death. I don't either. I, I, I like the way the can I looks. Actually, I've never had it. So the I can could, looks cool. Yeah, it lo- does look pretty cool. It looks like a beer can. So yeah, I think I thought act- it was beer. First. I think they made it to where for uh, like alcoholics that like reco- recovering alcoholics yeah. to drink a beverage that kind of look like it to fight their like urge to yeah. drink water <laughs> I instead. Mean, yeah. Understandable. They, they made a lot of money, and yeah. there's. I think they do, donate a lot of the profits to uh, like, uh, like what, what would it be like? We're cut like I guess rehabilitation centers and stuff. Yeah, rehab. And I that's don't know. And that's pretty dope. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool. It but was- uh, I have another story related related to deuces and shit. Oh, deuces again. Yeah. All righty. Um, let's basically. Let's- I was in Maryland visiting family. Uh huh. Many years ago. Yeah. Probably 2015. Yeah. So I was a little kid. Uh-huh. And uh, we went to Walmart this day to get some stuff, to get some groceries, you yeah. know, the whole shebang. Oh, yeah. The Walmart shopping experience, Wally's World. And uh, my stomach was not feeling that good that day. What'd you eat? Um, we had made like homemade pizzas the night uh-huh. before. And uh, I think I messed up with mine. I don't know what or how. Do you, how. What'd you put on it? It's pepperoni? Pepperoni, or? cheese, and that. We got like How can you go bread. wrong with that? Maybe it was the bread. Maybe. Maybe I think it's just there's this thing in my family called uh-huh. the Harris stomach. <laughs> oh, the Harris stomach, flu. and it's okay. because uh, our stomachs just suck at handling anything that's yeah. not ordinary food. Uh-huh. And uh, the Harris stomach got the best of me. Um, we're in Walmart. My stomach's not feeling good. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, my stomach is hurting. Uh huh. And I'm telling them, and I'm like, I gotta go. Cause you know, like you get that, like you get that feeling, <laughs> yeah. dude. Like it's about to come out. Like you're about to turtle head. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It. Uh. You know, my legs are like kind of close. I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing the, the little deuce walk. <laughs> I guarantee you, everyone's looking at you weird, right? Oh, everyone yeah. was looking oh, at me weird. What is this guy with his stick up his butt? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Maybe, dude. And maybe. I was a little kid. I was kind of like, like, I guess speed walking. Yeah. Speed walking. Tail Ugh, tucked oh my behind God. my I'm at the legs. Myself. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, I make it to the bathroom. Huh. Stall's open. I'm running. As soon as I get in the bathroom, I'm rushing to the yeah. stall. I get to the stall, close the door, and lo and behold, I shit myself. I made it all you the made way. You made it all the way there just to shit yourself? I made it all the way to the stall, locked the door, and couldn't even get my pants down, dude. And it went like all in your underwear? Yes, dude. Oh, dude. I was wearing some nice gray sweatpants that I just got. Oh, could you could you were, like see it from the back too? Oh, yes, man, man. You know, it's just one of those. Hey, things. I think that's payback for laughing at your friend for you know. Himself. It honestly might have been. Yeah, I mean, and uh, those karma, those man. Sweatpants and under underwear were ruined. So what what happened next? What, um, what did you just sit there? I had to uh, make the very good decision to yeah. text my uncle uh-huh. and be like. Yo, I pooped myself, man. And what did he say? He called me a very funny name. <laughs> and he, it's still around to this day. Yeah. Every time he sees me, he always brings it up. Mm-hmm. The Walmart shitter. The Walmart shitter? <laughs> yeah, man. Dude, you know, there's no... I'm going to start calling you that. It's hey. not even really my fault. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I was running to the bathroom, dude. Okay, but like... 
And you I said, had a belt on, so I was like fidgeting with the belt and then, you know, just... But, you, just, <laughs> but you said before, you said your stomach was hurting before. So why did you just, as soon as your stomach was hurting, just go in the bathroom? You know how it is, dude. I was holding it, man. First of all, how are those public bathrooms? Dude, I love... I, I, I will gladly take like just a drop a deuce. Old, I'll drop a deuce I can't day, do that. Anywhere. I can't. Any restaurant. I get so uncomfortable. Even at restaurants, I can't. Why? I, I, I just feel so like... You're telling me you're mid poop and you're just douche, douche, douche. You hear someone walk. I'm scared. Oh, I'm stopping. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So just stop. No, I can't. And like, I'm like basically butt booty naked on the toilet with my butt cheeks on this cold toilet seat. <laughs> and I'm, I don't like that. Oh, that's nasty. I do not. How do you like that? I don't know. You know, I wipe down the seat first. I get some okay, of that paper, yeah, wipe yeah, it yeah. down. Okay, probably, I'm probably just smearing around the germs, you know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's still cold though, man. The only other issue I have with that though is the cracks in between the doors. Yeah, man. like, dude, why do they make them like that actually? Is that meant to, like, no, there's no way. I think it's honestly for pedophiles. Like, you're over there creaking at like a little 10 year old just taking a shit? Like, I, there's no way. I definitely think it's um, one of those things where uh, it's probably for some specific reason that I don't know, like in case yeah. there's a fire. Yeah. But in reality, Anyone can look through those holes. Uh-huh. So when you're when you pooped yourself, does anyone like walk in or what's up with that? Um, well, I heard my uncle walk in and he was oh, yeah. like, "Here's your pants, Walmart <laughs> shirt." <laughs> and uh, he obviously made a big deal about it and yeah. then threw my the bag of clothes over, which was uh-huh. a bad idea because what if it landed in the toilet? <sighs> um, but yeah, still to this day, he uh, makes fun of me for it. There's like, okay, the thing is with me about public restrooms is I need privacy. I need to be alone. See, those family restrooms, I can deal with those because there's only one toilet. I can lock it, clean the toilet, put my bare butt cheeks on the cold toilet seat and then poop and then go home. But I can't do public, like public, public restrooms. No. I can. I do. All, I work all the time. So you just but, don't care. Okay, see, yeah, I understand. But, well, but yes. the other day though, I huh? was in the bathroom. Yeah. Mid deuce. And uh, I hear people walk in, right? So uh-huh. I'm like, okay. See, that's when I get nervous. That's I when get, I'm clenching my I, booty cheeks. I got to pause. Uh-huh. You know, I got to stop. Because yeah. I was mid. And I hear someone open. I go, does that hurt? hurt? Does that like hurt your hurt? Like, does that No, hurt, it's not that it hurts. It's just kind of uncomfortable. Ugh, okay. And uh, he walks in and some dude, I hear his belt, like yeah. his boot. And then I hear him unbuckling his thing. And he uh-huh. gets in the, he's in the urinal next to me. So yeah. he's just, Oh, you know, making all the old <laughs> yeah, yeah. man grunts, old you know? Man. <laughs> um, but then I hear another person walking. Yeah. And that's when I get nervous because uh-huh. there's only two, two okay. yeah, two's re- like, fine, I guess. Uh, like two places to go to the bathroom. Yeah. And uh he goes to the door of the stall and then kind of pulls on it. Uh-huh. It's locked, dude. Like, hello, I'm in here. And it's like fully shut. Why yep. is he all right? I don't know. I make no noise. Uh-huh. No noise. <laughs> so and he's then, just jerking on the door? Yep. And then he knocks a couple times. No noise. Okay. I was not prepared. I was scared, dude. I'm not going to lie. Did you scared. say anything? Just silence. Nope, silence. And silence. then I hear him turn around. I guess he <laughs> accepted defeat. Uh-huh. Maybe pulled a Walmart yeah. and kind of just walked out. Uh-huh. Probably pretty upset that he couldn't use the restroom because it seemed like he really had to go. There's no other, ur- uh, you know, stalls open? There's only one stall in the bathroom. One stall and one Oh. Ur- okay. So I can, maybe if it was like a couple, I could see, but- I, I don't know, dude. I couldn't do that, man. That scared me. Yeah, it was, uh, it was intimidating. I'm not gonna lie. Didn't he and, not take the hint when it was locked? Like, what? Go I, away, you dog. I was more worried that he was gonna tear the door open or start yeah. looking through the holes. Oh, imagine if he would peeked his old creepy eye. What, what would nope. you do in that situation? I'm, I'm getting screaming. Up. I'm screaming. Ah! Yeah, I'm screaming. Yeah. I got you. Or I'm buckling my pants, going yeah. out there and beating him up. Huh? I'm not actually doing that, but I wish in my mind I would have. Yeah. So how was the car ride back? Uh, of what? From from Walmart? Yeah, the oh, deuce. Dude. The Walmart shitter. They're making fun of me. The, whole, the time. whole ride? The whole ride back. How long was that? 15 minutes. Oh, and they're just dogging Oh, but you. we had to go shopping afterwards too. Oh. So I'm walking around with this bag of clothes <laughs> that are... Um, not gross. leaving the car. Ah, yeah, you're leaving the car. Soiled clothes. Throw it away. You already ruined them, man. Yeah, I think I did yeah. when I got back to their house. But yeah, dude, yeah. it was tragic. And, oh, they make fun of me the whole time. I was scared everyone's looking at me. I feel like I, I feel like everyone just knew that something happened to me because I feel like every time I yeah, looked, they were looking way. at me. I'm the same way, that, and it was scary. There's no way if I'm getting climbed like that, dude. I, I, 
I'm actually getting generally sad. What am I going to do? Were you sad? Like, I'll, I'll tell him about I was just close down. to crying. I would cry. I'm I was a little dude. I was a little dude. Yeah, you're right. I was right. wearing my okay, heart see, on my shoulder, little, dude. See, it feels like older me that I would probably have said something, but understandable. Yeah. But then you're, they, they're your uncle and all. Oh, it's so. okay. They're goaded. Yeah. He, he, I'm actually going to read a text message if I can pull it up on my computer real quick. All righty. Of what happened to this uncle. And uh, let's read one of the stories he sent me. Oh, okay. So this is a story that uh, my uncle that uncle. was making fun of me, uh-huh. called calling me yeah. Walmart shitter and everything. Uh-huh. I'm going to read you a story that he All sent right. me. All right, bet. Let's hear it. That he gave me permission when to was use. This? When was this? Um, uh, I'm not sure, but let me read this. All right. I'm here. Let's go. So he's saying... Um, he was headed to Charlestown with my aunt. And they were going to play a couple slots, like at the casino. Yeah. And on the way down, his stomach was not feeling too great. Oh. But he powered through. Huh? And then he left Charlestown and went and had a nice dinner together. My aunt and my uncle having a nice, yeah. nice old dinner. And then he said when he left the restaurant, and as soon as he hit 81 North going home, <laughs> his huh? stomach cramped up crazy. He said he was sweating and his balls were pulled up tight. <laughs> <laughs> Is he driving at this point? Yes. So, oh, dude, imagine imagine that driving. And then he said, we, we need to stop at the next exit and in the bathroom. <laughs> and then he right. said, the next exit came and I pulled up to his sheets uh-huh. and, and we sat as I cleansed my cheeks as hard as I could. I knew if I stepped out the car, so he's in the car still, uh-huh. that that uh, he'd be finished. Uh-huh. I moved just a bit, he said, and the floodgates opened oh. and he pooped so much and we had to ride home with the windows down. But oh, <laughs> is he just like ri- driving mid, like all his poops up his so booty? So I'm, so, all right, let me finish what I said. And then he said, I had myself propped up so uh-huh. I wouldn't get poop on my seats. Oh, okay. Got uh-huh. home and it was terrible. <laughs> so much poo and I was still pooping. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, this is from my. my uncle. We'll call him Fuzz. Hey, um, yeah, uncle Fuzz. But uh, yeah. So let me, dude. Let me put this that's a, that's into a better term, like a like a better paraphrase. Uh-huh. He's going out to go to a casino with with with, with his wife. They hit some slots, and then they get a nice dinner. And on yeah. the way home, his stomach's cramping, and uh, he goes to take an exit at the gas station and he can't get out the car because he's so close to going. And he takes one step out the car out of his nice, I think it's a Tacoma or something. Oh, or no, it's a Tundra. It's a Toyota Tundra. It's Uh a nice truck. And, uh, he has to, uh, he, he did it to himself. He dropped the big old dude. I mean, I'm not going to lie. And now I'm calling him the sheet shitter. (laughs) You know, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting them back. I mean, it, I know he's going to be listening to this, and I'm so glad that I can get you back for this, Fuzz. I'm again, not going to lie. Look, then again, that's a lose lose situation, though. Like, there's no, you had a chance. Right. And he he had no chance. He and did. To, when he made it to the gas station, he, I, that's oh, him. That's right. Yeah, that's but like he said making, he couldn't get out, though. Yeah, that's like me making it to the stall. I can't get my clothes yeah, off. You're right. All right. But well, lose lose situation. Get, he gets to the gas station. And man, he had the ride home, sitting oh, up, propped up. Man, <sighs> I love that. I love that that, that happened funny. to him because he <laughs> dogged on me the whole time. Now you can dog on him now. Yep, I will. I'll send a message right now. <laughs> I'm sending the message uh, as we speak. What do we call him again? Sheets Shitter. Sheets Shitter. Oh yeah, sent that to him. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, got him back. Yeah. In the end. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah. How's your job going, by the way? A little, a little off topic, but how's your topic. job going? I mean, my job sucks, man. I your hate job working sucks. There. I work at a fast food restaurant. Right. And l- listen here, all right? So we have this, you know, everyone has this, you know, manager that they hate or an employee that they hate. Right. Or that's super lazy. This girl is the laziest girl I've ever met in my life. All right? Mm-hmm. We're in a we're in a rush, right? I'm bagging and making drinks. You work at a fast food restaurant, right? Yeah. Okay. And she's just there 
just chilling at the desk on her phone, both of her AirPods in. I'm assuming talking to somebody because she's just yapping. And like, I, I, I don't know what to do. We're in the rush and I'm me and this other guy, he's doing ice cream and I, I'm doing two things. Right. I, I don't understand. Like I, no one, like everyone knows she's lazy. Like she, you know, she's lazy, but no one says anything. Right. Like, I don't know why people don't say anything. I don't know why I don't say anything. I just don't want to get fired. Then again, she is the manager, so I right. really can't say anything. You're at a low position. But I am like, a, I'm an assistant manager, so what does that make me? Assistant manager? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but yeah, I agree. I feel like everyone can relate to having somebody at work that they walk in the store and they're yeah. like, today's not going to be a good day. Yeah. But hey, there's always that one person or a couple of people that you always love. Like, I love seeing, like, most of my coworkers, except that hey, one. I'll walk in, I'll be like, today's going to be a good day. Yeah. Aside from this other coworker that uh, I have that's going to ruin it. How's your job going? Pretty well. Pretty Actually, well? pretty well to the point where I just met someone uh-huh. that's pretty worldwide. Oh, really? It's actually the guitarist of Korn, and his oh. name is Head, uh-huh. and uh, or Brian. And um, I was pushing carts one day. I work mm-hmm. at a grocery store. Yeah. And uh, I see this man walk in um, with a puffer jacket that goes down past his knees. Uh-huh. And I'm like, no normal civilian <laughs> is, is wearing all that is, drip. Is wearing yeah, all I that drip, right? <laughs> and... Um, I walk in to kind of see where he's going. I kind of slight. He has got his hood on, so I slightly yeah. see his dreads and his eyes. And I'm like that guy looks really familiar. Uh huh. And I get on my phone. I'm start googling all the people that I might be. And then I get to the person that I feel like most confident that could be him. Yeah. And it's Head from Corn. Uh huh. And I walk inside to verify my yeah. suspicions. And he's got his hood off now. He's in the produce section, uh-huh. looking at some fruits or some bread. Mm-hmm. Because the bird section and the bread kind of like in the same general area. Yeah. And uh, I see him and it's definitely him. He's got the same tattoos on his face and everything. So I'm like, this is the guitarist from Cornhead. So do you get a chance? Like, do you go up to him like right there and then or? No, no, no. I wait. And then I uh, actually, the first thing I did was call my dad. I'm like, yeah. Ring, ring, ring. Hey, dad. So uh, I'm really excited. So I'm like, hey, dad, uh, <laughs> the guitarist from Cornhead is here right now. What do I do? He's like, well, Jacob, you should go take a picture with him or yeah. at least ask, be uh-huh. very courteous about it, be respectful, and maybe mention that you do music. I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to do all that, yeah. but I'll definitely try and go ask for a picture. Uh-huh. So I waited out. I'm super nervous. I'm, I w- walk up to where he was before and I don't see him. So I'm like, he must be on the other side of the store. So I'm, my plan is to wait till he's leaving. Yeah. Obviously not to disturb his shopping yeah. experience. And then uh, I walk back in like, Five minutes later, and I see him on the self checkout scanning all his groceries. He's got a decent amount of groceries. Yeah. Doesn't have a cart or anything. Uh-huh. So he, as he's finished his order, he's walking out and uh, doing my job as an employee and doing customer service. Yeah, I'm like, hey sir, <laughs> do you need a cart? Because he's like carrying like cokes and under yeah. his arms and five bags in each hand. And uh, yeah, he's like, no man, I'm good. In uh-huh. a very like, he's very soft, but he's like, yeah. no, nah, man, I'm good. And I'm like, oh, by the way, my dad's a really big fan oh. of you and Corn, uh-huh. And uh, he went to your shows back in the Family Matters tour in the 90s. He's like, yeah. oh, sick, man. Is your dad a, per, uh, like a musician? Yeah. I'm like, no. Um, he's just a really big fan. He's like, oh, sick. And he's like, oh, do you do music? I'm like, yeah, I actually do. I don't want to bombard you, though. He's like, oh, no, what is it, man? And um, I tell him what it is. And then I'm like, by the way can I get a picture from my dad? He's like, yeah, man, take a selfie. I'll probably pop it up on screen right here. Boom. And uh, yeah, as we're walking and talking now after the uh-huh. picture, we're walking, talking about music. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm like a solo artist just working on stuff. And uh, and he goes on his phone, he pulls out his phone and yeah. he starts uh, using a voice. He's like, JQCB. <laughs> and it picks it up as JQCV instead of B. And I'm uh-huh. like, okay, it's actually with the B. He's like, oh, yeah. okay. And I found this out a couple months ago, but when you Google my musician name, it has like a whole Google thing, which I didn't do. I didn't. So, so I, didn't I think it's pretty either. cool that I pop on Google. It yeah. actually saved me today because he oh. instantly found me. All my music instantly popped up. He's like, uh-huh. oh, you got a SoundCloud? I'm like, yeah, my music's on everything. He's like, oh, yeah. sick. I'll check it out on the way to the barbecue I'm going to. I'm like, oh my gosh. He just said he's going to check it out. I'm like, all right, sick, man. Thank you. Have a really good day. Thank yeah. you. It means a lot. And he's uh-huh. like, yeah, man. And then uh, he's like, have a good one. And Did you end up getting like a picture or something? Yeah, I got, that's oh. what I was saying earlier. Oh, okay, I got a picture. Yeah, okay. And uh, so he leaves and I'm like, okay, oh my gosh. Yeah. I got to contain myself because I was really excited. I was really nervous because uh-huh. I just met 
this dude is yeah. famous guy. Millions of people have probably wanted to meet him and talk to him, and yeah. I had the chance. Right, yeah. that's a very valuable moment, and um, it could have went many ways. Like, he could see, have been yeah, very see, mad. A lot of a lot of celebrities are sometimes they're not like that. They're not that sweet. They don't like to be seen out in public. They cover security guards, everything like that. But him, dude, I mean, he's great walked guy. into a grocery store. Yeah. And hey, cele- okay. To be honest with you, celebs. Uh, I guess they're, they're real people too. I mean, a lot of oh. people. Oh yeah, a lot of people just like come bombard them with hell. Oh my God, take a picture. Like at least you, you know, thought about it. Like oh, you know, I'm gonna wait and right. all that stuff. Yeah. And um, I then take my break. Like maybe um, 20 minutes after that. Yeah. And I'm on my break, scrolling through my phone, my messages, like normal people do. Uh-huh. And I see a me- like a, a notification on Instagram. And he had actually commented on the post from You're Not Serious, right? This podcast yeah, post that I, I had see that. that I had linked on my profile. And he's uh-huh. like, hey, man, I listen to all your singles. You've got good variety and you got a, you definitely got an ear for music. Uh-huh. Keep writing. I was like, oh, dude, my hearing, gosh. Dude, hearing that from that type of dude. Right. Dude, he's super great. successful. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God. Of course, I instantly sent it to my dad. Yeah. As long as the picture is like, that's, he's nice. I'm like, just nice. Wow. Anyway. What? <laughs> Dude, okay. So he listened to all four of your singles. Yep. All, all four, four of them. them. And I was like, great oh my guy. Gosh. Like great he guy. took the time out yeah. of his day. A lot of people don't do that, man. Shout out to Brian, Shout dude. Out. Shout out to Brian. Brian or Head. I really appreciate you taking the time because many people would not do it. You went Great above guy. and beyond. Even found my Instagram to comment. Like, wow, dude. That is just, it just blows my mind how yeah. someone of that caliber dude, that, is doing that for people. How many followers? Like, is he like, how many followers does he have? See, that's the thing. He's got, I think he's got 600,000. Yeah. But still, this man has been touring since yeah, the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are a lot of people. Group. Yeah. There, the odds of finding someone that, that doesn't know the band he's in, Corn. Yeah. Is very rare. Like yeah. they are huge. Like that song. Yeah. Ba-boom, da, ba-boom. Yeah. I, yeah. I do. I do know that song. That's yeah, their song. About. I didn't know that was their song. Yeah. That's, that's their good. song. And that's how I guess my generation might be might might have known about them if they're like yeah. in the rap or whatever. But I mean, are they still band, are they still making music to this day? I think they're going on tour this summer. Oh, for real. Yeah. It's wild. It's it's crazy. Same group and everything. Yep. Oh wow. Together since what ninety. The, I think the, 90s? Like the early 90s early or maybe 90s? late 80s. So they've been around for a while. He oh, was wow. in probably in his, I think he's in his 40s. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe late 40s, something like that. He still looks great for still his Still grinding. He's, he's still got dreads down. Like, yeah. I was like, that can't be a normal guy with dreads that <laughs> oh, long, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, they're down to like his his like uh, abs. Like they're, Oh my yeah, goodness. It, his dreads are long. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it uh, it was crazy. But um, I just want to say to y'all, uh, I really appreciate everyone, each and every one of y'all. For yeah, thank you guys, really. Listening, listening in or watching in or following our socials. And it's on this TV behind us still. You're not serious, right? Podcast on everything with or without the podcast. I'm not yeah. sure. It varies, obviously. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I think we're going to probably start pulling this podcast episode to a halt. And... uh saying our final goodbyes <laughs> yeah i just want to say i really do appreciate you guys and check out episode two if you t- episode two if you haven't and one and one all of them actually just listen to them and uh make sure to follow our tiktok yeah. we're posting clips on our tiktok i haven't posted as much recently but i'm gonna try and start we're gonna start yeah. trying to post a lot more, more. And more on there yeah and uh, our YouTube, we got a video version. If you are listening on Spotify yeah. or uh, Apple Podcast or or even website, Buzzsprout, yeah, everything on our YouTube, you're not serious, right? Podcast, I think a podcast yeah. is at the end of it. If not, so. this just you're not. You should be able yeah. to find it. And as you can see, we've upgraded a lot, and we're going to keep on doing that. We're trying our hardest. Yep, we've d- Chris actually just bought some new mic stands yeah. for the podcast. I just got a new mixer, so we can now have guests on the podcast. We can now have guests. If we kind of got a cue already for people that are going to yeah. be in the podcast, but if you want to be in the podcast and you have a cool story and, or you just want to debate something with us, you've got a yeah. really strong point, hit us up on our, on our Instagram, on DMs, our socials. Yeah. And, uh, we'll get back to you. Or if you just want to talk to us for free, by the way, it does not cost any money nope, to get on all here. free, for but you're free, but you actually can support the podcast on our website on Buzzsprout. Yep. Um, if you go to our, it should be on our Instagram I think and so, yeah. on all this, our website should be linked. It's a Buzzsprout website. I think it is for sure on our Instagram. So check out our Instagram, go to the link and you can support the show. I think it's either $3 a month. It goes up to $10 a month Yeah, just to help us get equipment, 
pay for the fees of sh- of like streaming this out to so all the services mm-hmm. and just getting better equipment. Yeah. And then making the podcast even better. Yep. Step by step, baby. But yeah, I think this is going to wrap it up for I the third really episode. So. Third episode. When is this? Every Tuesday. This will be Tuesday. out. Let me check the calendar real quick. This should be out on the second. The second. This podcast episode should be out on the second. This mm-hmm. is when you probably are hearing this. We're actually filming this on the 29th, the Friday. Yeah. And I hope all of y'all had a good New Year's and have some dope resolutions. And make sure if and if you all want to see anything new in these podcasts or just let if, us know. If you're liking the form, the new format we're trying out, let us know in the comments. Yep. Just let, let us, us know. know in our we DMs. Need your feedback, please. Let us know. Just let us know. Yeah. We got plenty of places you can reach out to we're us. Trying, we're trying to improve every single day. Just let us know, please. But yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up. Yep. You're not serious, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs>